Yeah, it is, and it's about to be really painful, too, because here's a look at what our first show looked like. And then some of the people who visited us in the past two and a half years. Oh, the first show. Oh, Here man. you go. Now, Southern California's first two-hour morning newscast. Carlos Amezcua. Barbara Beck. Mark Krisky with traffic and weather. KTLA Morning News. Good morning and thank you for joining us. In just a moment, we are going to take you up in Sky Cam 5 for a look at the weather making news this morning. A little bit of a surprise. We've got yep. some rain and it's slowing down traffic out there on the freeways. Uh, Mark Krisky will be along in just a few moments with traffic and weather details. Now, I can't be uh, blamed for the weather on this one. <laughs> this is my first shot, so uh, you can't blame this one. I mean, you'll have uh, lots of opportunity to do that. Reporter Eric Spillman has been keeping track of the violence and joins us live from one of the crime scenes. Eric? Well, Carlos, detectives are still trying to figure out exactly what happened here. Apparently, some of the patrons inside this bar here in Pacoima uh, got into an argument early this morning. Terminator 2 is reported to be one of the most expensive movies ever made. The estimated price tag, $100 million. Our reporter, Michelle Ruiz, spoke with the star of the movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I guess the question that I have is, did you get your $100 million worth? <laughs> oh, you bet. The effects are spectacular. In fact, it's certainly an upgrade from the first Terminator. In fact, it's that 1984 film, The Terminator, that propelled muscle man actor Arnold Schwarzenegger into international stardom. I was hoping that I'd get to talk to Barbara Beck. Now, you're a nice guy. What do you want you to do? Here, you? No, no, I'm going over there. You sit here and work on the lotto thing. Okay. You're probably in here. And I'll see you later. You practice that, Ron. Oh, uh, look, at the cast party, we'll visit, okay? You practice that, Ron. I mean, I Come can't on, believe it. If I come all the way down here at the I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Something, bad suit. something went wrong. Something went It's so good to see you again. It's really good you know, to see it's, you. It's, it's nice to talk to you again. I was hoping we'd have a moment or two. Are you married? No, I'm not. I am. <laughs> okay, We're getting along nice very well, way. don't you think? Yes, we are. <laughs> Do you really need these other guys? <laughs> I've seen your little morning chat show. <laughs> to look up from my crossword puzzle and the calendar section. Excuse me, the calendar section. You have a wonderful show. It's very vibrant, very alive. And <laughs> well, so you L.A. I was standing right over there. I was trying to be very quiet because you were still on the air. And all of a sudden it says, Someone that, there he is. There he is, right over there, as if I wasn't supposed to be there. And I was trying to be, you know, discreet uh, behind uh, the stage, behind the scenes, because it wasn't my yeah. time. And here you are already going after us, and I didn't even have a microphone to respond. But I was. I hadn't, you know, I didn't want to be in public office. I was a farmer. I had been a naval officer for 11 years, a submarine officer. But I wanted to save the uh, political, I mean, from the political system, I wanted to save the public school system that was in threatened with closing down because black kids were coming into the white school classrooms. So I decided I'd run for the Georgia Senate and get on the Education Committee and be a hero, you know. I was just totally naive. What's human resources? Human resources, that's our personnel office. Would you like, would you like I went, to... I got, I went, I couldn't find the studio, so I went to human resources and they didn't recognize me as being one. So <laughs> they sent me back to seven. There are positions available. Good morning. And the, I mean, you've been what now? I you're... enjoy the show very much. No. It's my hairdresser's uh, favorite show, Antoinette. All right. She says, you must catch this show. It is so cool. Local film production. Can I just do my plug and get the <laughs> hell out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Please. I, I'm in Aladdin. Just go see it. I'm Sam Rubin in the Channel 5 newsroom. Amy Fisher Mania extends to... Hey, who cares about that crap? I'm Tom Arlen, and I'm here to talk about the Jackie Thomas show. Coming up on, on the Entertainment Report. Here. Come on, right this way, Mr. Mr. Right Thank you. Thank you very much. He's huge. He's a mega. I feel so small. I feel so. I feel unworthy. It's showbiz. It's showbiz. Showbiz is happening. No, it's. Would you like some Thai food? Thanks for cleaning up. This is the wildest. This is Cronkite did the news like this. Did you know? Thai food, the papers, everything. But I, love, I do love the helicopter shots of the actual studio where you're shooting. I think that's the... And there we are. We're inside that building right there. Look, there's my car. See, there's the door that we walk up. Those steps. We walk up those steps and come into... Uh, we're right on the other side of that door right now. Quick, somebody go out there and wave to the helicopter. <laughs> you guys are sad. Oh, yeah. Sad. 
God, you guys are great. Sometimes a little weird, but... Well, he watches. You, you know, we now call those Tom Hanks moments. Yeah, we do. We Thanks to him. We've coined that phrase. Yeah, yeah. You're sad. <laughs> well, about 10 minutes into the show, every morning, it's Mark Christie's turn. So... Oh, my goodness. Because the person who adores you the most. Oh, well, you know no. why? Do you know why I'm here? No. Wow. Actually, I, I, I really did. I thought you were just running through, like, maybe. Well, yeah, I door. just dropped by because Mark and I have a date. And. 